and welcome to evening prayer for this Monday evening, February 15. My name is Donna Peterson and I am the Vicar of St Peter's Anglican Church in Whittam and I bid you welcome as we offer an evening prayer service uh, in the Anglican tradition. Let's begin. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may abound in hope. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our first canticle, the Song of Hope. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good tidings to the afflicted. The Lord has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty for the captives and release for those in prison to comfort all who mourn, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, a garment of splendour for the heavy heart. They shall be called trees of righteousness, planted for the glory of the Lord. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Our psalm today is Psalm 104, verses 26 to 37. Psalm 104, 26 to 37. Lord, how various are your works. In wisdom you have made them all, and the earth is full of your creatures. There is the wide, immeasurable sea. There move living things without number, great and small. There goes the ships to and fro, and there is the Leviathan, whom you form to sport in the deep. These all look to you, and you give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, they are satisfied with good things. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. When the glory of the Lord endure forever, may the Lord rejoice in his works. If he look upon the earth, it shall tremble. If he but touch the mountains, they shall smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God while I have any being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for my joy shall be in the Lord. May sinners perish from the earth, let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul, I praise the Lord. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. God, who wonderfully created us and even more wonderfully restored our humanity, strengthen us by your Holy Spirit to triumph over suffering and death and grant us eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from Jude, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. Jude, a servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to those who are called, who are beloved in God the Father and kept safe for Jesus Christ, may mercy, peace and love be yours in abundance. Beloved, while eagerly preparing to write to you about the salvation we share, I find it necessary to write and appeal to you to contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to the saints. For certain intruders have stolen in among you, people who long ago were designated for this condemnation as ungodly, who pervert the grace of our God into licentiousness and deny our only Master and Lord, Jesus Christ. Now I desire to remind you Though you are fully informed that the Lord, who once for all saved a people out of the land of Egypt, 
afterwards destroyed those who did not believe. And the angels who did not keep their own position, but left their proper dwelling, he has kept in eternal chains in deepest darkness for the judgment of the great day. Likewise, Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities, which, in the same manner as they, indulged in sexual immorality and pursued unnatural lust, serve as an example by undergoing a punishment of eternal fire. Yet in the same way these dreamers also defile the flesh, reject authority and slander the glorious ones. But when the archangel Michael contended with the devil and disputed about the body of Moses, he did not dare to bring a condemnation of slander against him, but said, The Lord rebuke you. But these people slander whatever they do not understand, and they are destroyed by those things that, like irrational animals, they know by instinct. Woe to them, for they go the way of Cain and abandon themselves to Balaam's error for the sake of gain, and perish in Korah's rebellion. These are blemishes on your love feasts, while they feast with you without fear, feeding themselves. They are waterless clouds carried along by the winds, autumn trees without fruit, twice dead, uprooted, wild waves of the sea casting up the foam of their own shame, wandering stars for whom the deepest darkness has been reserved forever. It was also about these that Enoch in the seventh generation from Adam prophesied, saying, See, the Lord is coming with tens of thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment on all and to convict everyone of all the deeds of ungodliness that they have committed in such an ungodly way and of all the harsh things that ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are grumblers and malcontents. They indulge their own lusts. They are bombastic in speech, flattering people to their own advantage. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Our second canticle, A Song of God's Children. In Christ Jesus, the life-giving law of the Spirit has set us free from the law of sin and death. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. It is the Spirit that enables us to cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit bears witness that we are God's children, and if God's children, then heirs of God. We are heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ. If we share his sufferings now, we shall be glorified with him hereafter. These sufferings that we now endure are not worth comparing with the glory that shall be revealed. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sin, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our prayer for this week. Almighty God, you gave the law to guide our lives. Grant that we may never shrink from your commandments, but as we are taught by your spirit, may fulfill your law in perfect love. Through Christ our Lord and Master, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray for the world and for the church. Let us pray for the preservation of the earth, giving thanks for creation and for all that we enjoy, giving thanks for rain that waters the earth and the sun that warms it so that crops 
may grow flowers and plants so that the whole creation may flourish. We pray for places in our earth today that are suffering from natural disaster or those suffering from drought or flooding or bushfire or heat wave or cold snap. Lord, you give us the seasons to remind us of the ever-changing quality of creation. Help us to be in our season at the time of our season and trust that you have the goodness of our earth in forefront and help to teach us to be good stewards of that earth. Let us pray for peace and shared prosperity as we give thanks for the leaders who serve the common good in this country and in others. We pray for wisdom to those who have responsibility and authority in every land, in every place. We pray that we may have a just share of the resources of the world and that all people may have enough to eat and a safe place to live. We pray together for trust and good leadership for our government, federal, state and local. We pray for our nation on the cusp of another Australia Day. We pray for peoples that are divided. We pray for peoples that struggle with the concept of Australia Day. And we pray for peoples who think everyone should accept what they believe. We pray for this land and give thanks for the diversity of its peoples that come from every land in all the world. We pray for unity where there is division. We pray for understanding where there is misunderstanding. We pray for hope in turmoil. We pray for trust and a way to listen to each other and understand. And in the words of Psalm 139, we pray for all who are fearfully and wonderfully made in God's image. We pray for the church and its mission giving thanks for all who proclaim the gospel of love and peace. We pray that we might love our neighbour, the neighbours we know and the neighbours we don't. We pray that we might love our neighbour, the neighbours we get along with and the neighbours we don't. And we pray that we might love our neighbour, the neighbours who are different or have different beliefs and structures to us and those who are the same. We pray for ourselves and our community, lifting before you our face, our heart, our lives, that you might bless and strengthen us, encourage us and love us. For the community in which we live, for the events for this week, both past and to come. We pray for those in need, recognising that the poor are always with us. We pray to give where we can. Pray always. Trust that you have everyone's heart in your best interest. We pray that we might have your heart, your patience, your wisdom and your gentleness. We pray for peace. Finally, Lord, we give thanks for those who've gone before us, those we love, whose faces we hold before you, those who were killed violently or unexpectedly, those who have died an untimely death, and those who have come to the end of a beautiful life, and died peacefully and everyone in between.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Light in our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for evening prayer in this way. Just a gentle reminder about Ash Wednesday services this week. You need to register if you'd like to come to Face to Face or join us live online at 7pm on our YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. I pray you have a restful evening as you move from this space. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed this video, please like or comment below. If you'd like to be notified when more videos are available, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need to contact us, our details are here on the screen. Or check out our website at www.stpeterswinham.org. Thank you. Bye-bye for now. God bless.